We are in the insect zoo behind the scenes in the lab at the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History. We decided that it would be really great if we could get these leafcutter ants to pick up and carry our Smithsonian logo here. We were wondering, will the ants take these paper? We're trying a few different ways to do it, and we're gonna watch. These ants are going out in nature and cutting specific leaves and bringing them back to feed to the fungus. And I didn't think they'd probably go for these, but the cool part about this is I don't know. I've never done it. I prepared some salt solution and also sugar and lard and cut out the logos and dunked them in these solutions. These first two smaller sunbursts have a little circle of leaf sandwiched inside of them. Then we have lard, sugar, and salt, and these pieces of paper have been submerged in the solutions. Leaf number one. Leaf number two. Sugar, salt, lard. I didn't think they were gonna take any of the sunbursts, but they did take the ones with leaves, so that was really cool. It was fun to watch them do that, and they had a struggle, because those sunbursts were heavy. It shows the amazing strength of the ants. Our conclusion is that leafcutter ants prefer leaves. Specifically, they liked leaf two better than leaf one. To give our hardworking ants a treat, we've got butterfly-shaped cutouts of leaves that they get fed on a regular basis. Here you go, guys.